Good morning, friends. Hey, it's good to be with you this morning. It is wonderful to be in, in, in the house of worship here at Green Valley United Methodist. It's a joy to be among good friends here today. My name is Dan Morley. I serve as the superintendent of the North District, and formerly I was serving here as pastor at this church, and it's just a joy to be back and among you as well. Pastor Mark is, is taking some respite time, a medical kind of a break because he had a surgery on his hand. He thanks you for the prayers. He thanks you for the cards. He'll be here next Sunday at Veterans, uh, for Veterans Sunday and celebrating with you again. So, Most holy God, we thank you for the dear beloved ones who have been connected and a part of the body here at Green Valley, who have been a part of our lives, who have passed on this year, who have died from this life and gone into the eternal life in heaven. We give you thanks for each and every one. And we know, O oh Lord, that they are with you and well in that heavenly realm. So I pray, O oh Lord, for your comfort of your Holy Spirit to be upon us as their lives continue to be reflected in our lives for the gifts that they have left in with us, the footprints on our hearts and souls that they have left. We are thankful. We entrust ourselves, O oh Lord, unto you. In the name of Jesus, amen. Please stand as you are able and join me for the call to worship. God gives us all special gifts. These are gifts we are to share.
Please be seated. Our first scripture reading today is from 1 Corinthians 12, verses 1 through 6, as we look at the spiritual gifts. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brothers and sisters, I do not want you to be uninformed. You know that when you were pagans, you were enticed and led astray to idols that could not speak. Therefore, I want you to understand that no one speaking by the Spirit of God ever says, let Jesus be cursed. And no one can say, Jesus is Lord, except by the Holy Spirit. Now, there are varieties of gifts, but the same Spirit. And there are varieties of services, but the same Lord. And there are varieties of activities, but it is the same God who activates all of them in everyone. This is the word of God for the people of God. times of prayer, when we draw near to the Lord, and the Lord then draws us near to each other, when we come together and share our prayers with each other. We have many prayers which are here, prayers that seek for God's holy presence in lives for a country, preparing to cast ballots and votes on this Tuesday, we pray for our nation. We pray for those who are seeking healing and needing God's holy hand upon them for strength and renewal. 
we seek prayers for God's hand in relationships. When people need to come together as one. So many prayers. For God's people, we pray. Hear our prayers, O oh Lord. We lift them to you. The prayers that are represented on these prayer cards, but the prayers also that are just in our hearts. Some of them have words to them. And others are just kind of echoing in our hearts, not yet formed or shaped. But you know what those prayers are, O oh Lord, and so we lift them to you as well. As on this Sunday, which is one that's in between this place of, of an All Saints Day and, and a Veterans Day, we lift in prayer those who have served faithfully in your church, and we name them as the saints in our lives because they have served so faithfully in, in ways that have left an impression upon our lives and upon your church. Oh Lord, thank you for the saints of the ages. And for those whom we have known personally and we have named this day as we've begun worship and giving you thanks for their lives and ours. Oh Lord, may you shape our lives into those as being saints in the church as well. That we find ways and places to serve your church, to strengthen your church, to be a part of the very body of Christ. For you endow us with so many gifts, oh Lord, to do just that and to be your people. And then our minds turn forward in this week as we look toward Veterans Day and those who serve this very nation sacrificially. And we pray, O oh Lord, for your holy blessing upon their lives as we give thanks for our veterans and as we give thanks for those who serve in that capacity. We pray, O oh Lord, that you uh, strengthen their lives but also offer a shield of protection around them so that this coming Veterans Day is one in which we honor them. But prepare us, O oh Lord, then to be responsible citizens on this election day, to indeed go to the polls and take our part and to be a part of our nation. But guide us in that. We need your guidance. And then guide us in the days that follow. Because, O oh Lord, we need your healing balm. We need your Holy Spirit who makes us one. We need your gifts upon this nation. We pray, O oh Lord, now for healing in our lives, in our relationships, in our bodies, in our faith with you. Heal us, O oh Lord, we pray. For those whom we lift in our prayer cards and in our hearts right now, heal us, O oh Lord. And we also pray, O oh Lord, that you revive us as a church with the courage that we need to be the church in this day and in this time, that we would speak the truth and always in grace and love, that we would reach out to a world seeking hope, a world seeking a place to belong, a place where they will be welcomed like right here at Green Valley United Methodist. So teach us, O oh Lord, and call us to be that church right here in this place where all people indeed can come and find a home in you. Prepare us, O oh Lord, uh, to receive your holy word today and to receive holy communion so that we would become a part of the very body of Jesus. Oh Lord, hear our prayers. It is in his name that we pray, just as he taught us to pray that very beautiful prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Our second scripture reading today is still from 1 Corinthians 
chapter 12, and we're looking at verses now 7 through 11. To each is given the manifestation of the Spirit for the common good. To one is given through the Spirit the utterance of wisdom. To another, the utterance of knowledge according to the same Spirit. To another, faith by the same Spirit. To another, gifts of healing by the one Spirit. To another, the working of miracles. To another, prophecy. And to another, the discernment of spirits. To another, various kinds of tongues. To another, the interpretation of tongues. All these are activated by one and the same Spirit, who allots to each one individually, just as the Spirit chooses. This is the Word of God for the people of God. We invite the ushers to come for the giving and receiving of our morning tithes and offerings. We give because we are blessed, and we give to bless others. <laughs> 